Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we'll discuss Bridge, the new functionality in Autodesk Construction Cloud. As you know, we use ACC or Autodesk Construction Cloud as the CDE or Common Data Environment that hosts all the information from our projects and usually in the past CDEs had only one account or one hub per company. So if two different or more stakeholders were using the same tool, they couldn't share information with each other across projects or accounts. Now with Bridge, it's really a game changer because you can start to share either sheets or files or different project information across those different projects or accounts. Even if the account is not in your company's name, maybe it is the client account, maybe it is a consultant account or the main contractor account, you are able to share files or sheets between different stakeholders or between different projects, either internally or externally. This is really useful, especially when you have two or more stakeholders, whether that's a consultant, contractor or client using the same platform. Now there is no need to download those files and re-upload in another hub or project. You can simply bridge, as the name says it, connect these two projects or accounts via this new functionality. So without further ado, let's take a look on what you can do with bridge. Okay, share sheets and files, as we mentioned. You can also set up automations, meaning that you can have either incoming or outgoing automations between your different projects or accounts, and you can completely bridge or connect two projects for a certain period of time. Create direct project linking. So let's see it live. Why this is such a big deal? When we are in Autodesk Construction Cloud and we are, let's say, in our hub, in this case, this is Accienta's hub, but it could be any of the stakeholders in a project, we have our different projects. And in the past, with cloud collaboration tools, you had to download your files and then re-upload in someone else's project or hub. But now with Bridge, we don't need to do that. So for example, let's say that I do have some useful files that I I'm currently storing in the demo rail project, but I want to have those same files in another project. We have the bridge functionality to help us with that. If we go to bridge, we can see the different tabs like incoming, outgoing, automations and bridge projects. We can see that I already bridged or let's say shared some sheets and files between the sample project and this project. And now I want to move these same sheets or files from the demo ray project to the training project. We can see that in outgoing, there's nothing yet because that's what we're going to do now. But you also have the options to have automations, create certain rules to keep sharing certain files. For example, if we click here in sharing sheets, we have all of our projects. Again, let's go to our demo rate project. And as you can see here, we have our normal menu of Autodesk build in this case with sheets, files, issues, and all the other functionality that you already know. But if we go to bridge, this is where we'll establish that connection. Again, we can see the files that we already imported. Let's go back to automations. And we'll go to sheets. So the first thing we need to do is select which sheets we are going to automate or connect directly to that other project or account. Let's say that the relevant sheets are these three for architecture in this case. We simply click share here and then we have these options. We can either uh, select to share with project members with view only access or higher or in this case, what we're going to do is with another project, we can select or deselect to have uh, automatically new sheet versions in that project we're going to bridge with. Let's keep it selected. And 
find our training project. And we simply click share and the system will share those specific sheets for us. This is major, guys. I don't know if you are excited, but this really brings to the table new conversations with your clients, with your contractors or consultants when it comes to collaboration in the cloud. Now, even if each of the stakeholders has their own hub and their own licenses with the new bring your own license capability also from Autodesk Construction Cloud, all the stakeholders can collaborate more efficiently and share their sheets in a project. And once we are in our training project, if we go to the sheets area, we'll be able to see those three sheets that we already shared and bridged with our original demo rail project in this case. As you can see, it's very simple, very intuitive, easy to use. Now let's go back to bridge. And we have this new information that for the training project, we have an incoming sheets, the day, who added that project, the project the information came from, and when it was accepted. In outgoing, we still have nothing here, but we already have this automation set up in which any new sheet that we selected from the demo rate project when it's updated or there is a new uh, sheet in there that we selected in this automation, it will automatically come to the training project via the incoming tab. And in this case, we know that we have the automation on these three sheets. So if we click here, we can see the details, which are those three sheets. And at any point in time, like you can see here, you can select the specific sheet and delete the automations if we wish to do so. So now we only have one sheet with the automation in place. And if we want to go one step further and say, OK, we know that these two projects are going to be collaborating a lot and they will be exchanging information, you can simply send an email to whoever is like the admin in that specific project or hub to bridge your two projects. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please subscribe so you get more news about Autodesk Construction Cloud products and use cases. As always, I'd recommend you to go to the help menu in case you want to research more about Rich.